a vision of a future powered by green hydrogen, courtesy of Japanese car giant Toyota. Its woven city building plan for 2021 offers an ambitious idea for a post-lockdown global economy. Fatih Birol, head of the International Energy Agency, agrees green hydrogen is ready for the big time. He's urging governments to invest in the technology as part of their economic recovery plans, rather than high carbon fuels like oil and coal. So far, Australia has set aside $191 million to jumpstart hydrogen projects. Portugal and the Netherlands also have big plans to massively increase production in a matter of years. Green hydrogen is produced using renewable energy to power large electrolyzers which split water into oxygen and hydrogen. While the process is energy intensive, it can be carbon free if powered by renewables. Most hydrogen nowadays is extracted from natural gas via carbon heavy process. But for green hydrogen to really take off in all sorts of ways, those renewable energy sources need to get a lot cheaper. Sky is the first air mobility vehicle powered by hydrogen fuel cells. While regular hydrogen can cost as little as a dollar per two pounds, currently green hydrogen can be as much as six dollars per two pounds. Analysts suggest increased investment and demand could reduce the cost of the electrolysis process and see the cost of renewables falling dramatically. That could reduce the cost of green hydrogen and make it competitive with carbon-heavy fossil fuels by 2050.